Today, uh, we are going to start uh, JNC RS SP course, that is a Juniper Specialist Certification course based on um, service provider. We will focus uh, basically routing choosing and uh, MPLS. So, first of all, we are going to share the course outline. So for course outline, we're going to Jennifer official website, uh, jennifer.net. It's the official website of Jennifer. Then we go to the training section, Jennifer certification. See the Jennifer certification tracks. So there are different certification tracks. We are just doing service provider routing and switching, and our course will be JNCISSP. Okay. JNCISSP means Service Provider Routing and Switching Specialist. This is Service Provider Track. This category or this level is called Specialist. There are four levels in Juniper Certification, Associate Specialist, Professional and Expert. So see the course outline. See the exam objectives. This is the course outline. There are multiple, uh, basically in three sections, course outline will be divided in three sections. One will be routing, two will be switching, and number three will be MPLS. In routing section, there is protocol independent routing here, we will discuss basically static routing and then we're going to discuss dynamic routing. Dynamic route, in dynamic routing, uh, there will be OSPF, there will be ISIS and BGP. Okay? OSPF, ISIS and BGP. This is the routing section. In routing section, we'll discuss Static, OSPF, ISS, and BC. Four. Okay. In switching section, switching section, we are just discussing the switching methodology, VLAN, spanning to protocols. That's it. Only two topics. They are to basing on VLANs and spanning to protocols. Very short topics in switching. Last one is MPLS. Last one is MPLS. Okay. MPLS, we are uh, discussing uh, basically MPLS basic, MPLS L2 VPN, L3 VPN, quality of service. Okay. Also, segment routing is included here. After completing MPLS section, we are going to discuss segment routing. Okay, that is the uh, that is in MPLS section, and there is uh, you can say uh, IPv6. IPv6 basically uh, will be uh, in routing part. I will share both IPv4 and IPv6, but um, here. Uh, just showing separately, just showing separately. Okay, then see here static route, dynamic route. Okay, tunneling it's very simple topics, and last one is high availability. So, this is our course outline or enter topic, which will be covered in the enter course. You can take this course outline 
in your hand when you just start your class and mess every topics if i miss any topic please remember me then i cover this one no issue basically every class will be based on topic not counting the time two hours three hours four hours not counting the time i counting the topics topics will clear you clear topics then i will go next topics otherwise otherwise i will discuss existing topics or concurrent topics no issue okay so juniper have learning portal so if you uh, just uh, go to their learning portal for learning portal just uh, you uh, browse learning portal juniper.net learning portal juniper.net requirement is you have to register here first as a guest then login Internet is very much slow. After registration, you are uh, you just uh, log in with your credential, then go to uh, get started for free, or you can select anything. See here. All level courses is here. So our target is specialist level and category will be service provider, service provider routing and switching specialist. Okay. Then see the announcement from Juniper. This is the announcement. Co complete all the course modules and pass the browser assessment test with this course 70% or higher you will receive 75% discount on your live exam. That is your JNCIS uh, exam costing is maybe $300. So if you participate browser assessment test, you will get 75% discount. That is the announcement from Juniper. So just I go to the JNC service provider routing and switching. If you just after login, if you uh, just click on service provider trade, that is specialist one, you will get the course module. You will get the course module. Okay. This will open for all. Just you complete the registration here and log in, then you will get this one. Okay. So, three part. I already share there is three part in service provider routing and switching. Part one is Juno's intermediate routing. Second, service provider switching. Third, MPLS fundamentals. And last one is assessment test. After completing three modules, you just <clears throat> participate for the assessment test in online. Online, <clears throat> if you get 75% or above, you will get 75%. Okay, so <clears throat> if you go to uh, first one, just Juno's intermediate routing, click this one, just I show you how to operate, how to see the um, course module uh, for JAC ISSP. This is module one, welcome to Juno's intermediate routing. And every module have duration, 
you can pause you can um, play you can uh, take a snap for uh, important things you can, if you can do okay so this is your guideline that's from juniper that's from juniper that is this guideline is based okay so i will follow this guideline and instruct you guide you how to complete lab based on your theoretical topics one by one if you don't understand anything just ask me then i will try my level best to understand every topics okay so <clears throat> In this uh, course curriculum, we have to practice in our lab. That is very important. Without lab, this is very difficult. This is very difficult to understand, remember. You can practice in your live device or you can um, take lab, just purchase some Jennifer devices connected with this other and you can make the lab or you can make lab in virtual. In our uh, training, I will show virtual lab. That will be if ng. That will be if ng. 103. My lab. Is multiple device here. I will show you how to add uh, Juniper devices. I will also share the um, Jonas OS so that you can make uh, your lab uh, in your um, PC or in your cloud. So for this course, JNC ISSP, for this course, we need Router, we need Swiss. That's only need router and Swiss. For testing, we need PC. That's all. To check the switching functionality, we can take QFX for checking MPLS and routing section. We can take VMX. VMX have uh, two part, uh, two type of images. One is VFP, um, that means uh, control plan and forwarding plan is separate. These two nodes will interconnect uh, with internal uh, internal cable. That is one. That is one section. And another, I can uh, get a VMX. That is VMX, only Juniper VMX, but this version will be 14.1. This version will be 14.1. This image, this image, we can cover routing section. We can cover MPLS section, no issue. But in segment routing, this image will not cover. This image will not cover. So for segment routing, we'll uh take uh th that is uh, vcp and vap combination so first we start with vmx juniper router 14.1 because this device have uh, some issue number one this device basically virtual device this device interface is uh a up and down. Sometimes interface is okay, then after some time interface is missing. In that case, we are confused. After uh, completing routing protocol, we have to check, we have to verify. If interface down, it is difficult to verify. So that I suggest to you 
for routing and MPLS part, for routing and MPLS part, we are going with VMX that is standalone, that is V control plan and forwarding plan in, in a box. This seems only for segment routing, we will go this, this one. We'll go this way. So I already uh, shared a video, maybe that was in Bengali, maybe. So I will, uh, now I will share how to add um, these images and so why you get these images. So this is the, Lab here dot version. Okay. Unit lab one and go address. Just go to home. You need lab two, not one. You need lab two. Okay. Then go add-ons. Then go chem. For BMX, BCP, and BFP, just go to Juniper section. Go to Juniper section, Juniper, Juniper, BMX. Okay. BMX, it will take 21. 21. Yes, 21. You can also take 22, but uh, I take 21. Uh, VCP 21.3 and VAP also 21.3. And for QFX, that means for Swiss, you will download back to KMO, then Juniper section. Um, Download um, Kim QFX that is Swiss for QFX. You have to take this one, you have to, you have to. Others person have some issue 20, 20, or others person version have some issue. Okay, you have to take 19.4 for. PFE and RE, 19.4. You have to download 19.4, RE and PFE. Okay, after complete, after completing the download, you need to upload this images in event. Okay, so for Uploading EPNG, you can take WinSCP or FileZilla. I take here WinSCP. Just see here, this is the image, and image file is .tgz. Just drag and drop, upload this zip file in this directory directory is opt unit lab add-on scheme all images will be in this directory okay see here bqfx re so say here bqfx re um, that is this one no not RE, RE is this one. VQFX RE 10K 19.4. Okay. And another one is PFE 19.4. Okay. So when you upload the zip file, then you have to extract this one. This is the tar file. Okay. So you have to extract this one. How to extract this one? Just 
see here. I'm showing the sample. And take okay, this one. See here after upload, after upload, just go to this directory. You upload the tar file in this directory. Just go to this directory and check file is uploaded or not. If uploaded, then enter this file. This is the command tar xbf and this is your tar file after extract you can remove the tar file you can remove the tar file if you remove the tar file the extracted file will be like this will be like this and this folder have one or multiple files that depends on uh, basically who is, is in that type that will be shown here. Okay, mm -hmm. this is uh, only two, number one step, go to the uploaded directory, enter the tar file, remove the tar file, and Fix the permission. Fix the permission. And this instruction is will be in event. If you just write how to add VMX in event. There is detail instruction. This is your sample image. Create the directory. Go to the directory. So no need create directory, go to the directory. Just every image will be in this directory. So no need to create. Just upload to FileZilla or WinSCP in this directory and just extract it. That is very simple, straightforward. Just start. Okay, then go to this directory and remove the tar file and you will get this that file. After completing, no need to follow this one. Just remove the tar file and fix the permission. That's it. Okay. When you get uh, B, uh, BMX, BCP, and BAP, just pick uh, BCP and BAP in your working environment and connect with internet INT, that is internal. INT means internal. Internal connectivity between BCP and BAP. This interface fix. No interface will be in between BCP and BFP. Only this internal interface will can communicate. Other interface will not communicate. That is fixed. And you will see the guideline. Add BCP and BFP nodes on the topology. Connect them with EM1 interface. EM1 interface is communication port between BCP and BFP. This setup will be BMX 17, 18, 19, 20. 
PFP to connect your lab element to the post. That is EM1 or internal. After connecting, just power on your virtual device and you will get this one. First time, you will uh, asking for user ID. User ID will be root and no password. User ID will be root without password, not admin. User ID will be root, not admin. So this is the instruction. You will uh, get same for QFX. You will get same for QFX. Just upload, enter the file, remove the tar file, and fix the partition. That's it. When take the RE and PFE, connect with internal cable or EM1 with this other. And other port will be for traffic forwarding. This will be for communication between routing engine and packet forwarding engine. That will be, that will be must. Okay, and for QFX, user ID will be root and password will be Juniper, this one. Okay. So this is the instruction for lab. But uh, there is no instruction uh, for 14, 14.1. PMX 14.1, there is no instruction here. I will show you this one. Just uh, I will uh, share you 14.1 image. Uh, that is the BMX image. Um, uh, just uh, it may be Google Drive or anything. After class, I will show. Just uh, after guarding the uh, BMX file, just upload here, and I see here. BMX Juniper router 14.1. Just unchip or enter the file. You will get this folder automatically. No need to change anything. Just see here. File name will be like this. BMX. Must be start with BMX. After dash, you will set anything. You will set your uh, these are then no issue. Juniper router 14.1 and in this folder there is a file. File name is HDQ. Okay. I will share this file. Uh, this is not uh, in EVNG official website. So after uploading uh, your uh, BMX 14.1 then we just um, get or take this one, PMX, Juniper PMX. PMX version is 14.1. You can change your icon. Default CPU one, RAM 2048. Default interface six. You can take uh, interface eight maximum. You can uh, set um, higher RAM if, uh, your PC have available RAM, but 2048 is enough for this PMX. And if you take multiple load, assign the number, how many, two or three, I said here two, that means two PMX will be in our working environment, PMX nine and PMX 10. Then just connect with this other. When connecting, uh, PMX. I first to interface, not use first to interface. Okay. Use zero, C zero by zero, zero, C zero by one, two, three. Not don't use FXV zero and internal use. Internal use uh, basically uh, basically goes for uh, for communication between uh, routing engine and forwarding engine. And FXP0, uh, it's uh, basically for 
uh, for management. This is the management interface. Okay, that's why uh, for normal communication, that means the routing or packet forwarding, uh, for normal communication, you have to use uh, this interface, EM2 or G0 by 0 to 3. Okay, this is the instruction for lab. Have any query from your side? Is it clear? Guys. Yes, sir. Okay. So now we're uh, going to back our course outline. I'm going to back our course outline. So this is the guideline for you. Dot net. Training. Deliver certification. Change ISSP. And first topic is protocol independent routing. First topic is protocol independent routing. I consider you already understand IPv4 addressing, already understand IPv6 addressing. I just uh, show you here static routing and uh, some special uh, route and some other things in protocol independent routing section. So, can I ask a question? Have you uh, understand IPv4 addressing? Are you clear VLSM subnetting? Is it clear for you or need to discuss something? about IPv4 subnetting or VLSM. I guess no need because this is the special stock. You already covered the associate, right? Yeah. So no weakness of IPv4 RDC. So I can go. So Today is the very first class. So tomorrow, uh, basically, I will um, take the protocol independent routing. Basically, uh, this uh, topic have some lab arrangement. So I request you, Mohoenai, show you lab in my pc please do same thing in your pc do same lab in your pc do same command verify same command and ask me that will be better and that will be the interactive session i just show you and you just listen nothing will come just make the session interactive, you will get best learning from here. Okay, so this is the time. Martian address is invalid address. No, Martian address is, Juniper called Martian address is uh, like this. Um, you uh, say uh, 127.000, this is the, uh, this address is uh, for um, local host or local communication, but Juniper calls this address is Martian address. Okay, so if you just show here, not the invalid, not the invalid address. Okay, if you just show here Martian address, 
Machine address is host or network address about which all routing information is ignored. When received, localhost have any routing information, take any routing information. Is it routable? No, not routable. That's what it's called. Machine address. Okay. I will um, share uh, some books, study guide, who is uh, provided by Geneva. See here, Martian analysis. I show you here detail. Just for first, Martian analysis. In IPv4, the following are the default Martian addresses 000 slash 8. This is not usable. 127.008. This for local host, local host testing. This for local host testing. But this is not routable. 12800. This is the result. This is the result. This is the result. All are the Martian addresses. But this is not in value. <laughs> okay. I will discuss detail in coming section. No issue. Good for uh, thanks for your question. Okay, I uh, just uh, after class I will share this study guide. I will follow number one study guide, number two Juniper learning portal matter only two. Okay, and you have to follow my class. You have to follow my class and. Make interactive. I request you, you make minimum 100% in a class. Okay. So that's for today. Now I will um, close today's session. So I already shared the plan how to move with this course and what is the benefit, what is the message from Juniper and what is the what will be the material, what will be the course outline, everything. So in next class, I will discuss protocol independent of independent routing. You will get this one from this book. From this book, you will get this one, or you can get from this Juniper uh, learning portal. Basically, uh, very similar, but this book is uh, basically, maybe I will get this book very early, maybe 2014 or um, near. 2014 only, like this. But in learning portal, every topic is updated. So that's why you have to follow both. Okay. You have to follow both. Um, maybe no, no date. No date here. No date here. But this is very old. Okay. Jennifer Learning Portal is best option, and you can also follow this video. So, okay. Maybe some new power will be in training, and I asked someone before. Ask I just uh, close to the session.